Hi guys, let's do part four of our JASP series, which is thinking about descriptive statistics in JASP. So let's get started by opening JASP and pulling up an example from their data library. And so the specific example I'm going to use is the fear of statistics data set from the Andy field, and it's in the descriptives folder. So from there, I'm gonna click file, uh, data library, descriptives, and we're gonna pick the first one, fear of statistics. So this already has some things calculated over here on the side, but what we can do is see, we can see, if I kind of pull this over, we've got a bunch of questions from the fear of statistics scale. They're set to ordinal data because it's a Likert type or Likert type scale where they're ranking things. Um, so they've got this set to ordinal. Um, and let's just say we want to calculate the average score for some of these questions. From here, the guide will tell you to click on descriptives and then descriptive statistics, and we'll get a new window that pops up. So descriptives, descriptive statistics, okay. and now I've got a new window. So I can kind of expand this so you don't see the data. You can move it over where you see all three at once, kind of pick your favorite flavor. From there, what I want to do is pick whatever variables we're interested in. So in this example, I'm going to select the first four. You can use the shift key. So I'm going to click on the first one, hold down shift and click through four. Another thing you can do is click on one, hold down control, or if you're on a uh, Mac, that's command and pick random set. So either way, we'll let you pick the variables you're interested in. And then I clicked on the little, play button to move them over here to the right. You can also drag and drop. Okay. And you can put them in different orders if you wanted to, let's say, have question 12 be at the bottom. No, I thought you could, but it's not letting me to today. <laughs> Notice that every time I've done that, it's changed something over here. So I'm gonna take some of these out just so we can see the whole table at once. Okay. So it gave me all of questions one through four. It's quick and dirty. Now, to get other things that you're interested in, we're gonna click on statistics. Now, we can click frequency tables and that will actually work for this data because it's listed as ordinal. So frequency tables only runs for nominal and ordinal data. If this were listed as scale data, this wouldn't show you anything, right? But I, so I can see how many people selected each of the options. If I click on statistics, I can add things that I need for my homework, for example, like the medium or the mode. And so it gave me the mean for each of these statistics, the median, okay, the middle value, or the mode, the most often value. You can also ask for variance and the standard error, um, which are two popular things that come up on basic statistics books, right? So we've got standard deviation, those are standard deviation for samples. So if you're talking about standard deviation for populations right now, it's a slightly different formula. Okay. We've got variance, we've got standard error of the mean listed up here. And then uh, you can actually do quartiles if you need the interquartile range, for example. Um, so the interquartile range would be the 75th percentile minus the 25th percentile. So for this first one, it would be one. Second one, it would be one. All three of them would be one, actually. All four of them would be one. Now, we have our descriptive statistics. If we want to copy them over to a Word document to upload, <clears throat> we do this highlight everything, hit copy, come over here to Word, hit paste or control V or command V, if you're on an um, Apple, and that will paste the whole thing in this nicely formatted APA style table where the only real the thing that you might consider doing is maybe changing the number of decimals so it's consistent across all of them to being three, two or three. Okay. And there you have it. All of your descriptives all at once, um, which are very easy to do in JASP. You can also do them by groups. So by using the split command, um, it doesn't make sense to do it with this data set, but if we had a variable like gender, we could put split in here and it would separate those statistics out by your split variable. So that's how you create descriptive statistics in JASP.